thank you so much for being so welcoming and accepting and I just look forward to continuing this. So I just want, that's all I wanted to say is, I just wanted to say a quick goodbye to Arts Commission, but hello still with everything else. Yeah. Well, best, best of luck to, to you, you, Patty. And thank you for all your contributions. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. That was it for me. So I'm gonna pop off, let you guys do your thing, but thank okay. you and we I really will see you all around. Thanks, Thanks Patty. Patty. Bye, Patty. Thanks. Bye. Patty. Bye. Bye. So, looks like we've got a few more that are joining. <clears throat> well, we get a word. Oh, sorry. Say, while, while we're at sharing news, figure if you guys ever see me out on the streets nowadays, it would be so different if we were in person. You would see that I have a, well, I guess you can't really see here. <gasps> no way! <laughs> I got, got a little one brewing in here, so I figured I'd share that all with you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank That's you. Wonderful. How are you feeling? Finally better. I was really, really, really sick. Oh. So I'm 21 weeks now, so I'm kind of finally over that hump. But oh. yeah, I'm like, I don't know when the right time to share it is, but I feel like at some point I'm going to start seeing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, that that's cool. wonderful. <laughs> that's exciting. So when is your due date? July 13th. Oh gosh. That'll be here oh, in a blink. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> July 13th is my birthday. So oh, yay. there you go. <laughs> well, gee, that's that's two pieces of great news today. <laughs> that's wonderful. And Kayala has some great news too. Kayala, do you want to say what? I saw that you were like the daffodil princess. Oh, yes. I'm the Clover Park High School daffodil princess. Oh, congratulations. So <laughs> wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. congratulations. This is a good meeting. Nice. Yeah. Great start. <laughs> we haven't had to do anything yet. It just celebrates. <laughs> it's just a party. Now, I do uh, and say, I noticed Daryl hasn't been here at the su last several meetings, and I was wondering if we can do like a buddy system where someone who feels closer to him could reach out and um, encourage him to come or to see, touch base, see what's going on. You know, Sally, he had sent me, um, oh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, he sent me some information on film, and uh, I sent him a rather... Uh, long uh, email back thanking him and asking him how he was doing. I, I hadn't got a response, but I have reached out in the last couple of weeks. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll check in with him again. Just we kind of have a tight group. So it's nice when everyone shows up at the table. And so I appreciate you all are here today. So uh, have we heard anything from uh, Phil or Susan Warner? Are they going to make it today or should we forge on ahead? Um, they sh I don't know about Phil, he may be traveling, but Susan did not mention that she's not coming. So I'd say let, let's start though, because. Okay, alrighty. So we will call the meeting to order then. And having reviewed the minutes and unless there are any corrections or additions, could I get a motion to approve? Approve. And a second? second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you very much. So that business is over. So our public art at the Colonial Plaza, you probably received the, uh, the email from Sally recently, uh, wherein um, she mentioned that um, she has uh, sent out a uh, call to artists, approximately 20 of them at this point in time, and hopes that uh, we get a robust response uh, relative to this, uh, this project. Um, the hope is, is that from that 20, we can, um, how shall I say, uh, 
select from that uh, the submissions, no more than six uh, individuals going forward for uh, follow on. Those individuals would then be requested to submit a biography of sorts and a sampling of their work uh, for consideration uh, by the Arts Commission as well as two members of the Arts Council as well. And uh, my understanding at this point in time is that once selected and the, uh, the plan to move forward with one artist is, is complete, then um, the project can take up to one year in order to be completed. Is that correct, Sally? Right. Okay. And uh, I think that's all I have on the uh, public art at the Colonial Plaza. Do you have anything else, Sally, that you'd like to add to that? Well, no, just that I was able to access the two public art rosters that are available to us through Pierce Transit and through the state. Um, and I asked just for those that were within the 100 mile radius of the city limits. And um, so that was about 140 or 50 artists. And I just went through meticulously with our criteria and um, whittled it down to just the 3D artists because we're looking for a sculpture. And, and from there, um, the 100 mile radius and from there looked at their portfolios to make sure that they had done similar work and that's how I ended up with the 20 and they're just a great selection and I've heard back from a little over half who are interested you know for some it's just too low of a budget and for others um, the timing just doesn't work with COVID and other projects. And one interesting one was, um, she said she would do it if she could change the name Colonial Plaza because of the connotations that Colonial has. And, um, you know, that was good to hear and probably important to hear. Uh, but so she will not be participating. Sally, did you hear back from Doug Granham? Thank you for asking, I almost forgot. His email kicked back and his phone didn't just rang, it didn't go through and I tried him twice today. So um, I asked okay. Jason, pardon? Oh, you asked Jason, okay. I asked Jason to reach out. Um, I don't know if he got through, but if you have a connection, please, um, I need to hear back from him. I'd love him yeah. to be considered. Yeah, I mean, I I, I haven't spoken to him in a, in, uh, about a month and a half or so, but I see, but I, you know, he and his wife, um, I mean, his wife and I converse all the time. So, I mean, yeah, I, uh, I don't know why his phone number wouldn't be going through, but yeah, I can try him most definitely. Uh, well, I was using what, he was a runner up, everyone from the last go round. Um, and so I was using what was on his paperwork then. And I don't know if that's changed, but please, um, if you can do that as soon as possible, mm -hmm. that would be great. Sure. Um, but we have a lot of great talented artists. It's, it feels really good the way we're going forward and looking at their past work. And I'll be sending out an email to them tomorrow to send it at least five um, slides and a little bit about why they want to do the project. And then the, um, in two weeks, the subcommittee will meet and go over that. Okay. Kelly, can I ask a quick question? So are you... Uh, just so I understand this correctly. So, we're, I mean, we're going to be narrowing it down and looking at per portfolios. Um, are they, are they submitting a design for, the, or they're going to get selected and then be hired to work on a design? So six, after this, after they submit their five slides, five to 10 slides in a letter of interest, the subcommittee will meet and whittle it down to maybe six, five or six artists. Okay invited to an orientation on site and then to give a presentation to the Arts Commission um, and where we'll have a chance after their presentation to ask them questions. Mm -hmm. Then we'll whittle it down to three, two or three. We'll pay each artist a thousand dollars for a couple design concepts. Got it. Okay. So Sally's February 25th email uh, does a, a really good job of laying out the timeline 
and the um, and the milestones that have to be achieved. So um, I, I would revisit that to uh, get a better perspective on how things are going to translate once we start getting these letters of interest coming forward. Okay. Um, so go ahead. Who is going to be well, really quick? But who's on the the subcommission? It said so that it's there on were the bottom be... of the agenda here. Do at, at the very bottom of the agenda. Oh, the, I see. Uh, the names of the public art committee are there. Okay. And also, I want to say that Ariani, um, she's she's joining too. Um, the city council really wanted a youth mm -hmm. or two or more youth council members on the subcommittee. So I can't see the full thing, but I don't know if I added her name. Okay. Now, so thank you, Ronnie, for joining. Okay, and it, it probably bears mentioning at this point, um, Earl, you are the lead on the public art committee. Mm -hmm. So as far as subcommittee meetings, when things start kind of moving along, um, you, you'll be the, be the point person for okay. those meetings. And, um, I think also it bears mentioning at this point that, um, if, correct me if I'm wrong, Sally, but we need to take notes at these subcommittee meetings, correct? I think it's a yes, we should do that. So designating somebody, Earl, uh, to take notes so that in the spirit of transparency, that information then can go forward and become part of, uh, part of our record of business. Sure. Okay. So um, utility box wraps, Earl, do you have anything, anything new to report? No, I because I mean, we're all kind of like in the phase of just finding somebody. And so I don't have any new, anything new to report on that. I mean, Sally, did we only have that one person that had submitted a piece of art? We've had six submissions, um, not all of which are you're going to want to put on a signal box. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But um, definitely need to reach out more. So, so we've reached out to Arts for Culture, the Tacoma Artist Listserv, and we've also communicated with uh, the uh, communications director at Clover Park School District, uh, all in aid of getting um, more submissions. But um, Anything that anyone else can do by way of communicating um, our, uh, our goal to get submissions for this project, um, that would be great. Oh, did you get one from Patsy O'Connell? I'll look. But I would say, is she supposed to apply? Yeah, she's applying for the utility box wrap. Okay. I'll look. Um, but I was also going to say that, you know, we could federal way, all the other cities have such great ones. Do you think we could get a list of their artists and reach directly to them knowing they've done them before and they're so good? That would be great. So reach out to the extent that you can. That would be wonderful. Good to have you online, Daryl. Sally is good to, good to have you with us. Okay. Sally, if you if you send me your uh, announcement for it, I could I could uh, send it out on our listserv. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so the next item of business is the 25th anniversary art contest. Uh, thank you to all of you who uh, judged the entries and submitted your uh, completed rubric uh, to Sally. Appreciate that very much. Uh, we have uh, given the sheer number of entries from Gimhe, uh, we have pushed out the uh, finalization of the, uh, the contest uh, through April. Uh, I think the 25th of April, right, Sally? 
April 8th. April 8th, um, my apologies. Um, so it was thought that it might be great if we could, as a group, have the opportunity to uh, check out and see what the entries look like. Um, I did not see the ones from Jim Hay. And um, for those of you who did not score the ones that came in uh, through the city of Lakewood, thought it would be an opportunity for you to be able to see what those look like as well. So Linda, is it closed? It, yeah. is, it is closed now, yes. I, I feel that it's my fault and I'm sorry I wasn't involved uh, to get this out to the Asian uh, group, especially the Koreans. Um, I feel like I dropped the ball on that one. I apologize. Oh, that's fine, Lugo. I think we had, didn't we have about 43 entries, Sally, from, through the city of Lakewood? Mm -hmm. We did. But, we, but how many did we get from Gimhe? Uh, 71. Um, but, you know, this was a um, project born from the Arts Commission, and it's just turned out phenomenal. So I wanted this to be kind of an inspirational meeting for you to see what came in. And we'll just go through each slide and um, the description. So we'll just give you time to read it, and then we'll go on to the next one, okay? Okay. All right, let's roll, Nikki. Okay. Maybe you can give me a thumbs up like when you're ready to. Okay. Oh, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. That's great. And are these from Korea? Yes. yes. Wow, nice. So I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It's really amazing artwork. I mean, look at that's it. great. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> so I think we can get some good press on this art contest just because of the nature of what's been submitted. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Really nice. Isn't mm -hmm. that lovely? They're all Beautiful. Nice. Very detailed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. 
That's great. I like how they did the Lakewood sign. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay, in that last one, who the heck would know what ac achromatic zentangle is? Isn't that amazing for a kid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wrote it down to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying a little bit how they are showing up. Our... Uh, exactly. Oh. That's great, too. Well, these are all great. Are we going to feature these somewhere, Sally, either on the website or? In City Hall, maybe have them framed or something. Yeah, <laughs> both, Jason. We'll, we'll, um, play the we'll be presented April 8th at yeah. the City Council meeting, and they're going to be in a flip book. That'll be great. That flip book can be shared um, on all the social media, and we'll print them out and we'll have displays throughout the year at our different events. I like this one. Let's fly Lakewood. <laughs> So many of them use such a great use of color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. We, we could also share these two uh, uh, around. Thank you. Once it, uh, we make the announcement. Um, yeah, we can display them in different, like APCC would love to display. We have an art gallery. We could display these as well. Okay, great. Oh my. Wow. Is this amazing? Yeah, oh my gosh. So hopefully, <laughs> I mean, the second grade there cannot be the second grade. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, is that Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> wow, second grade. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Pretty amazing, really. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Yeah. Well, you know, the intent definitely wasn't but obviously that's what's on everyone's mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you get the sense that it's um, really oppressive for the kids. <laughs> well, it's interesting because they obviously were asked to do some research on the city and mm -hmm. the United States to get some of the historical vignettes in there. Exactly. You know, you see Mount Rainier, you see the Space Needle. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah, you're right, Jason. <laughs> Americans must be blonde all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <In the last. laughs> oh, Ohio. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Some research. <laughs> That's neat, too. Mm hmm. Sally, who uh, translated all of these? Um, so Connie, who's at least sister cities, had an attorney. And then I think he got overwhelmed and um, she had some other help, maybe someone from Pierce College. But I still a process. I still have 28 photos where I don't know the name or the title. And so it's been um, kind of a lot of work, um, and a bit of a puzzle when you can't read anything. So that's, you know, one main reason we need to extend it. 
Mm. No, I was thinking it was a big job to do. Yes. Yes. That was a duplicate. My job tonight is to go through and see which ones are duplicated. I love that one for some reason. <laughs> it's just so funny. I was still drawing circles in first grade. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> these are great. I love this one. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Wow. Yeah, I really think we'll get a lot. I'm talking to the Tacoma Week tomorrow. Um, they're interested in hearing about it. And I think we can get a lot of press around this. It's really phenomenal. And, you know, we didn't expect it. I thought we really did hit on something by including Kim Hay. Um, especially compared to our entries, obviously, you know, they have so many more entries than we do. Instead of, I don't know if that indicates a bigger interest or a stronger influence of the teachers, but mm -hmm. interesting. Oh, I oh love this. My. One. Oh, my. So now we're on the 28th that don't have, just go a little quicker. You can just kind of flip through a little quicker. do we have? I think we have 70, right, Sally? Yeah, 71 from Gim Hay. Okay. Oh, that's Isn't great. That pretty? I love that one. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah, that's gorgeous. And then a little over 40, Jason, from um, Lakewood. But yeah. the difference is Gim Hay didn't have any adults, and Lakewood had adults, and the biggest category for Lakewood submissions was adults. And I like the fact that they um, they didn't they didn't size the people uh, like Koreans. They size them differently, so that means they're they're including they're being inclusive of all that. Because mm. the Koreans are small people, and typically they would probably make their their people. Unless it's real picture like this. Oh, how cute. Lakewood High School. Oh, look, a little map. Oh, I love the little watermelon suit. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I like the photo entry. Huh. It's kind of like up. Mm hmm. The Disney film, yeah. Um, so now we can quick go through, we can just do a very quick look at the pictures of the Lakewood entries if you'd like. Yeah. And on here, you'll also see that um, the winners, the first, second, and third place are, are marked on. You can go ahead. Um, and in this category, we had a tie for first place. So I, I asked Twin Star what they want to do about that, because <laughs> we'll need an extra 
gift card. <laughs> Does Lakewood have a mascot? I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing that might be a school mascot. Oh, okay. Of elementary school. Oh, they, that's a good point. they all have a critter. Yeah. I kept looking at that mountain and thinking it was a stormtrooper. Oh. <laughs> you, know, like, you know the helmet? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's Rainier, but yeah. That one won a uh, place, but maybe not. That's a great one, too. Mm -hmm. I like that one. You know, we didn't get a lot of 3D, so that was fun. That's very nice. I like that one. I, I, I like that one when uh, saw that one the first time. Good thing we didn't get adult entries from Gunhei. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they would have been amazing. I really like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's, I do too, it's fairly fun. That's kind of fun too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very different. It 
certainly is a picture for the time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it really is. So there you have it, sneak peek. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Nice. So, um, you know, I have the option of calling the winners um, and letting them know, let's say even tomorrow or the next day, because what's happening is we told everyone we were gonna uh, put it out like February 28th or March 1st and um, no, February 26th. And so I'm getting a lot of calls, you know, when is it going to be on the website? And we don't have a communication manager right now. So I feel like a lot of those emails um, where at least I could let the winners know, uh, get them their gift cards. They could come in and get them. And then, of course, we still wouldn't. Hey, Sally, there was a couple in there that um, I thought were good enough especially that that the tree one that maybe could be good enough for the utility boxes i mean have you thought about that maybe maybe pitching that to the artist and see if they'd be interested in and uh throwing their hat in the ring on that one yeah i think that's a great idea and i think in our first after march 15th is the due date for submissions that we should go through the ones that um the subcommittee thinks that um they would like to they can go in the signal box and then we can call the artist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing those, Sally. So we move on to uh, the mural. And I think you've got some information on that, right, Sally? Yeah. So for the, for the mural, um, <laughs> got company. That is moving forward. That is moving forward. Um, and the school district is kind of taking the lead on that. So that's great news. And we're hiring the company Urban Artworks. They've selected the mural artist. And the, that artist is going to work with the students to create a mural. Um, so we have a bunch of partners pitching in the school districts, pitching in the most money. And then um, LMCC. And then Pierce College and Clover Park Technical College and then the city. So it's, it's a really good partnership. And oh, it's great. Done on wooden blocks so that it can be moved to different locations. Well, wonderful. Hi, Daryl. Hey, well, I don't have anything else. Um, is there anything you would want to add in at this point, anyone? 
Jason. You probably uh, already acknowledged Patty Bell at the first yeah. eight minutes that I didn't exist uh, for the meeting tonight, but I just want to tell you that uh, it was a really interesting and good selection process, and Patty knocked the interview out of the park, and that was one of the reasons she was uh, rated so highly uh, by many folks. But I think it's also a good point for all of us here that, you know, community volunteerism really matters, and the council very much valued her experience on this committee, as we value all of you. And I just want to give a shout out and a clap to Patty because she has to then remove herself uh, from the arts commission right now until she becomes a liaison someday. But I won't let her take my job away yet. So you're stuck with <laughs> me a while longer. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's all I had. Um, Jason, while you're here, could you um, let me know if you were able to get a hold of Doug Granham? That came. I sent the email on to him and I will confirm whether or not he received it, but I did send it on to him. Okay. Well, maybe you can send me his updated email. Yeah. No, happy to do it. Thank you. Yep. And then the only other thing I can think to mention at this time, this is that in light of uh, Patty's departure and the fact that we still do have some unfilled positions on the uh, Arts Commission, if you have friends or family or colleagues that you would like to spread the word to uh, as far as joining, sharing their time and their talents with this group, it would be most appreciated. And with that said, if there's nothing else, I'll wish everyone a pleasant evening, stay safe, and we will see you next on Monday, April 5th. Great. Okay. Bye everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>